Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. I'm gonna tell you about the mirror blocks today. Now, the mirror blocks was invented in 2006 and a couple years later picked up and produced by Rubix. It was invented by this person. I'm not gonna to try to pronounce their name because I'm probably going to butcher it. The person who invented it originally called it the bump cube. So you might hear it called a bump cube, mirror blocks, or mirror cube. The term mirror cube comes from its metallic finish that you usually see on a lot of the stickers on the puzzle. Now with that metallic finish, you also will see a brushed finish, which can cause the centers to look a little bit misaligned. And in a solve, that's not something that's usually taken into consideration. Now this can be speed solved. And I have a little bit nicer mirror cube that I have right here and put some awesome green stickers on. The unofficial world record is under 10 seconds, so it's definitely doable to speed solve it, and I'm hoping one day to have this as an official event. Now I'm gonna have to stop you there, Sean. Why is Ben laughing so hard? The, the wrong order, like, I thought it was this, then it wasn't that, and then I got, uh, and then I got this Zebia though. Oh, Ben did a ZBLO on mirror blocks. That must explain it. Okay, back to you, Sean. It's a little bit more difficult to solve. It is just a three by three that has been modified. Every single piece here is a different size. There are some puzzles like the mirror S or the rainbow cube that have similar pieces, but every single piece is different. And so when you're solving it, there's a few tricks or tips you can do, as well as some issues that may come up. The biggest issue is going to be the muscle memory of movements, because since the size changes, the feeling's different, and the muscle memory does not stay always what you would expect. Usually when you're solving it, a lot of people will either have the smaller side or the larger size on bottom, because that way there's a consistent size you can look at. Personally, I like to have the smaller size on bottom, and you'll first make the cross. And since this is not magnetic, it wants to move around quite a bit. Okay, we've got the cross done. And we're gonna finish walking through a full solve just so you can see how this all functions. I like to try to do F2L and then insert the pieces like normal. So like that, let's insert this one. There we go. This mirror block is the Mofeng Zhaoxi cubing classroom mirror blocks. It is probably my favorite of all of them, but it's very hard to find. Now this is where the last layer gets a little more difficult, but you can look to see if they're all the same height. So here I can see that I have an OLL where is kind of the uh, small U, and I believe, there we go, OLL done. And what would normally be headlights would be sort of a matching side like that. And actually, I just have a U permutation so I could do this. I'm not gonna do the M slice U perm to solve it. That is the mirror blocks. One of my favorite shape mods ever. It's one of the easiest ones to pick up and do. So to prepare for this challenge, I did a week of solid practice on the mirror blocks. I found out that this cube is actually really fun. And before this week, I haven't really done many um, solves on it and haven't really gotten good at it but I am really starting to enjoy this cube. So my strategy is probably going to be to work around the biggest center first, um, make the cross as you would a normal three by three, and then move on to F2L. So I am doing F2L. Um, it is kind of hard to recognize at first, but after like 100, 150 solves, it does start to get easier, but of course it always is fairly hard to recognize on a mirror box because of how different it is. Uh, so that's normal as 3x3, three three. then I move on to OLL, and then I move on to PLL. Recognition is takes a little bit longer, but it's mostly the same. Anyway, so that's my strategy, and so now to see what I can pull off. What is up guys, I'm Ice Cuber, and I'm about to do an average of 5 on this mirror cube. I've had this mirror cube since I started cubing, which was about 5 years ago, so a very long time, and... I really like it because it shapeshifts. It was one of the first puzzles that just blew everyone's mind when I showed them. So I'm very glad to have it in my collection. And I recently just re-stickered it 
Uh, the stickers that were on here were like reflective stickers and they started to peel off so I had to re-sticker it just for this video and I put on these pink shades so I'm very glad on how it turned out. I'm so excited to compete against my fellow Team Speedtube Shop members and honestly I don't think I'm going to do very well just because it is an easy puzzle, it's just a 3 x 3 shapeshifter but at the same time it's a little bit confusing to figure out which piece goes where um but i'm so excited and i can't wait to see how this video goes all right so this is a mirror cube and for those of you that don't know all it really is is a shape mod of a3 by 3 one of the most classic shape mod non duplicate puzzles that any cuber would get um any non-cuber even i have a few non-cuber friends that even know what a mirror cube is so it is a pretty well-known puzzle it's definitely very classy looking um and it can be deceptively hard. And what I mean by that is, even though it solves the exact same way as a 3x3, because everything is monocolored, it's just kind of hard to distinguish which piece is which. Um, so for me personally, I definitely do have to use beginner's method in order to really solve this puzzle well. And I know it's not that efficient, but for my method of solving, I first start off with the top thin layer and just kind of combine everything into that top layer without really worrying about the orientation of each piece. So that way I know which piece goes into the thin layer and which doesn't and just sort of organize it throughout there, um, which definitely isn't the most effective, especially for speed solving it. Um, but nonetheless, it's definitely still a really fun cube and with practice, anyone would be able to speed solve it pretty consistently. But either way, let's just go ahead and see how I do with speed solving the mirror cube. All right, that was all five solves, and that was so fun. Honestly, I did a little bit better than I thought I would. I mean, I got, I think my best was a 120, which is, I mean, pretty good for me. And then I also got a 121, which was also pretty good. I stuck with doing the T-perm first for my PLL, just because I didn't want to take too much time trying to figure out which PLL it was. Uh, for OLL, I did know some of them, I did recognize them right away, but for the most part, I just, I did whatever. For F2L, I know, like, in my fourth solve or something, I inserted, like, three of them wrong, which kind of disappointed me, but at the same time, it's, it's okay, we're just doing this for fun. I'm very excited to see my team members' times, and I'm hoping one of them is just extremely fast in Mirror Cube and got, like, a 15 second solve. I'm so excited to see if someone did that or not. But other than that, I had a blast solving on this and I'm glad I got to pick it up after um, a couple years of not solving it. And I hope you guys all have an ice day. All right, so my average definitely wasn't as great as I was hoping it would be. It was teetering around the two minute-ish sort of mark. Um, and I was expecting or at least hoping to get at least sub one minute. Um, but I definitely ran into a few tricky parts just because it's innately with the mirror cube, it's hard to distinguish which piece is which. Yeah, and this cube turns really well. It's just that the mirror cube is just hard to control and grip, especially when it does shape shift. And when you get into something crazy like this, it's just sort of hard to grab each piece um, individually and just well. Um, so it was definitely really fun, but I think it could potentially be a really cool thing to just continue practicing um, with just like any shape mod, um, especially with the mirror cube or Fisher cube. Those cubes are definitely really fun um, just to sort of give something different into your cubing routine. Just um, So it's definitely a fun experience, but hopefully in the future I'll get a little bit faster at speed solving the mirror cube. So that was a 32.96 average of five. I'd say pretty good for me, uh, just about above average, um, but it was a really fun average of five and I'm definitely loving the mirror blocks. Um, I'd say the 2109, that was a really cool solve that's only like one second away from my, from my PB single, so that was really cool to see. It was like an X cross, and then there was a free F to well pair, um, and it just flowed really nicely, so that was really cool. Um, and then all the other solves were just fairly normal, nothing too much, I just had to keep my recognition flowing, and they were pretty good. Uh, definitely loving the mirror blocks, can't wait to do more solves on it. Um, yeah, so that's my uh, average five. What?
Okay. What the hell happened?